After Overrun's release in July 2020, it was time to begin working on the next film only a month later. The movie was going to be called Collision 2, as it would directly connect to the original Collision released back in April of 2020. The film is about a flight where everyone on board passes out, except our protagonist, Wes Films, and a new friend, Ender, who will end up landing the plane with little to no experience. The idea of passengers landing a plane has been in my mind for years. I was even writing a film years earlier using the same concept, along with a few other stories that were never used. I wasn't too sure about the name Collision 2 to begin with, since there wasn't any collision in the story, but I'd roll with it for now. And with little planning, we began filming. For the hospital scene, I used a free model and built some rough terrain around it, and since I would be the developer of the game, I would have access to free cam, making shots a thousand times better than with the binocular tools from PTFS, or with nothing at all. The only thing I needed was to be able to use free cam inside of PTFS, where most of the stunts would be shot. I knew Samus HTFE, the secondary coder of PTFS, had access to FreeCam, so I asked him if it was possible to allow me to have access for a little bit. I thought it was a big ask, but Sam managed to give me access, and we were able to film in PTFS with ease, without using skydiving Cessnas, or by standing on the wings of moving planes. And about an hour later, the developers decided to give everyone with the ATC Game Pass access to FreeCam in PTFS, which ended up revolutionizing how cinematics are shot inside of the game. Like other films, such as Turbulence, releasing on the 24th of December in 2020. Nothing eventful happened while filming that, and all the raw footage is on my second channel, so we won't talk about it, and we'll instead fast forward to January. It had been six months since I last worked on Pass Out, because during the fall I got a new computer and had to transfer all my progress, which was one minute of footage, all in one piece. The footage was dated and somewhat unusable, and by January I had almost completely forgotten about the project. But remembering the film and all the plans we had, I thought it was a great idea to start filming again, just half a year later. So I contacted some friends and tried to recover some of the old footage. Finding new music and redoing a few scenes, the first part of the movie was complete. For the taxi, I used a blocky free model to match PTFS's style, and while these were an absolute nightmare to use, I liked how they turned out in the end. The Parents' House was a game I created a few months back, with a fully decorated custom house, perfect for filming in. For the dining room scene, I took half the house apart and replaced the walls in black to give the dark and serious mood. This shot was done by placing a green block outside the window and keying in a clip from PTFS, with a plane taking off which we'll get to in a few minutes. For the airport terminal, we decided to use Larnaca Airport, although it's supposed to take place at Perth. I did this intentionally because the Perth terminal has been used so much in the past few films, and we needed something different. This film is meant for entertainment purposes, not for people who have already played PTFS to go rant about how much they know about the game. And in the end, it's better than the custom terminal we were about to use. Scenes like this were just made in custom games as well, with just a wall and TV. This method was also used a lot in Turbulence. Ender being introduced for the first time was one of the most challenging parts. Originally he was going to bump into West Films in the custom terminal and end up meeting him again in the plane, but we scrapped that idea and instead took advantage of the fact that West Films is a small YouTuber. The ground crew scene was pretty interesting since while filming it we had no idea what was going to cause problems on board, so a few of us had to go back and reshoot some of the scenes later on. Like the main character needs something that prevents them from passing out for some odd reason. Wait, so why would people wear masks to board but then take it off when they get in? I have no idea. I know exactly. And there's a cabin pressurization failure, but both of them are ex-mountaineers and they're used to really low oxygen levels. The plane's interior is another custom map. We were debating whether using PTFS interiors was a good idea or not, since they lack in detail and space, so I quickly threw together a representation of an MD-90 and we went with that. These scenes were... challenging to make, since there were over 100 seats to fill and everyone in the plane was real, except the back few rows where passengers' outfits needed to stay consistent. There would be people moving seats, spawning in as we filmed, not sitting down, crowding the actors, but we managed to find a few solutions. A friend suggested I add some sort of admin to the game, to help with moderation and making filming a lot easier. So that's what I did, and it changed everything. However, even with admin commands, things did still get a little out of hand. Most of the plane's movement from inside was just rotation added in post. For the takeoff and descent scenes, I got a really wide shot and then zoomed in in post to give room to rotate the frame. 
To get Westfilm's eyes to open while making realistic camera movements at the same time, we just swap faces using the admin commands. This sort of POV scene was shot by moving forwards in free cam, slowing it down in post using optical flow, and then adding some rotation keyframes. Using optical flow for the first time was game changing, however there were a few artifacts here and there. For these scenes we actually used the 767's cockpit, allowing for more space while not looking too different. I didn't think this was too necessary, but I thought the escort idea sounded pretty cool and added a lot of drama to the story along with the landing gear collapsing, the A330 lining up, and the traffic controller barking at the plane the entire time. And with the film complete, it was time to upload it, after making a trailer and everything. Passout's initial performance blew my mind. I didn't think it would get 100,000 views in the first few days. Things were going great, until four days after its release. I'd received a copyright claim, which was interesting because the film was on YouTube as a private video for over a week, and nothing happened. It took 10 days for YouTube to detect the soundtrack I thought was free to use, because I had tested it months in advance. After a lot of thinking, the only thing I could do was take down the film and re-upload another version with new music which would end up harming the video's performance and most of the series. It was disappointing to see my 50 plus hours of work being taken down after getting this far, but at least a fairly valuable lesson has been learned in the process, and that is to only use Kevin MacLeod music. Alright, now it's time for some easter eggs. The opening scene's a flashback from Collision. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Hey look, a dancing Wes. Here are all the other Wes's. The plane taking off outside the window I mentioned earlier is actually British Airways Flight 12, the same flight that was reported on the news later that day. We are not even going to talk about this one. Flight the flight's call sign comes from the amount of subscribers I had on the date of filming, 37,600. Are we even going to mention the text on the screen? I think this is live. Maybe the pilots were just dumb, I don't know. I still don't know why they didn't go around when they clearly could have. I think that director just might be a dude. Hey, is that Swiss Cheese 912? No, I don't think it is. Hey, I think 420 knots is a little too fast for only 1,069 feet. Hi, YouTube. It's weird because the conductors weren't even talking to the skyscraper people. What will West Films direct next? Well, that's mostly it for this video. Thanks so much for watching up to this point, and I'll talk to you later. Nice avatar there. Oh, this is beautiful. You're laying on the grass, jumping. <laughs> this is amazing. When we're done filming, I'm unacquiring everything. Uh, Sean, fly <laughs> far away from the aircraft, hold your retools tool, and then press delete on your key. I've got an idea. I'm anchor. Oh, extreme sports. Oh, <laughs> no. To do all that again, I wasn't recording any of it. Whoops. Are you actually... Look at what the glass does to...